Talking Serpents. Going to introduce you guys to Theros because we haven't done a Theros video yet. So Theros is my Sun Glow Red Tail Boa. So as a baby, his markings were a lot more red and more white, and so that's fading out like all adult sun glows do. But we got Theros. He's nine months old now. Um, 800 grams in weight and three and a half feet. So we named him Theros because Theros. Gee, he's just flopping all over the place. No. He's all wiggly. Theros means courage in Greek. And from day one when we got him, he was has never been stressed, not freaking out about anything, just cool with whatever. Like, he's been such a chill snake, it's awesome. Um, we got him at the San Diego Reptile Expo. He was like one of the last ones there because we had to go last minute that day. And I was so excited. I've always wanted a sun glow boa. This was my dream snake. Waited years for it because we just couldn't have one before. And then finally got him and I annoyed the crap out of Kyle when I got him. Because I was so happy. But there I was. Yeah, we got really lucky. I mean... I don't know if it's really common for boa constrictors. I've definitely handled a lot of them. But, I mean, this one has never struck. Day one when we got him as a baby, I mean, he fit in the palm of your hand, and he'd, like, fall asleep in my hand. Day one. Never stressed. Never, like, jolting away. Not head shy, even from day one. Always feeding. I have... Oh, perfect eater. Yeah, zero complaints. So I feel like we're extremely lucky. I don't know if this is common with all bows, but I don't know. You let me know in the comments below. But I believe, I, I think this might be true, but pound for pound, he is our strongest snake. In my opinion, if, I would I'm definitely say sure pound for pound strongest. I'm not sure if that's for all boas, because I've heard that before, or if that was someone making up some bull crap. I think we're like red tail boa constrictors. But, uh, yeah, so he was so strong that we had our beta over here um, in a nice fish bowl. Um, and he, we, you'll see on our Instagram that he was, like, around the fish bowl in some of the pictures that we had. Well, that day, he cracked the bottom of the bowl because... Yeah, he wrapped his body around the, uh, the bottom diameter of the bowl, and he lifted it up with his body, which... Now, it doesn't necessarily surprise me because it's only about like, like a gallon that was in that bowl. And then uh, a couple days out or later, we came into the kitchen. And there was water, you know, here and there on the table. And what the hell? And then there's cracks all the way across the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks, <so> Theros. <laughs> he was the last one to touch the bowl. Nothing had happened to the bowl. So he created a hairline crack and it just slowly leaked. And so now the beta got an upgrade. Hi, Carl. Yeah, our beta coral went from uh, one gallon to uh, what is it, a three point five gallon? Uh, four gallon. It's a pretty nice. Got He's a filter got a filter and now and super happy. Like, he likes to hang out falls. in the dragon's mouth all the time. <laughs> no, 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 no! You're not breaking this one. <laughs> no, one's pretty thick. <laughs> so yeah, this is Theros. Did you, I want to add anything? <laughs> no, I don't think so. You're so wiggly. I can't wait till this snake gets big, though. He's going to oh, be yeah. so awesome. He's going to be so strong. Every night, I want the bear he hug. <laughs> just has to turn into a ponytail holder. He just wraps around my ponytail and then sits his head right there and just watches whatever is going on. Every night. That's probably what he's up to right now. Probably. Hi. Mm. My sweet baby boy. Boop. He doesn't care. A lot of trust. We forgot to talk about his enclosure.
closure. <laughs> uh, so we're going to cut this in to the video. Um, so he's got a four foot uh, wide, long, two feet deep, two feet high enclosure. <laughs> um, Okay. We got a bunch of branches in here. Oh, really? <laughs> you can't... We're, we lock cages with no snakes in them because there might be a worm in there getting out. We got, we got a big old water bowl in here. The heat bowl or heat fixture on the right side. And a uh, moss bowl underneath. The light fixture. And then we got this huge tree structure. Which he'll be able to grow into. <laughs> hey. <laughs> he'll be able to grow into this uh, structure even when he's an adult. There's plenty of room for him to go up there and uh, bask and chill. And then you got his hide, one of his hides. The other one. He's already like too big for. He's overflowing when he gets there, but he's trying. He's trying hard. He'll figure out that he's too big. He'll have like a coil just sitting on the outside of the hide, but he really wants to stay in there. Yeah, everything's good. Got a lot of stuff in there. <clears throat> I figured since he was only three and a half feet that I needed to put a lot of stuff in this enclosure so he wouldn't be stressed, but then again, I really doubt this snake would be stressed <laughs> anyways. Some snakes, like a ball python, I'd probably say would get stressed in an enclosure that large, being, you know, uh, juvenile or sub-adult, but uh, not this one with his personality. Yeah. Bye-bye. So, follow us on Instagram at Talking Serpents. Strike that like button uh, and follow for more. Leave a comment down below. We'll always answer back. <laughs> Bye.